Previously on Barefoot Sailing Adventures. Probably a couple more little adventures with the land yacht before we get on the little sailing yacht. And then we're going to continue our journey from Tampa Bay to Key West. Here we are in Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda. The sun is shining and we're going to have an awesome day. Here on the land yacht. The sailboat is also right here in this town where we're at. Yep. Just stick with us because we're going to drive you over there and we're going to hook up to that thing pretty soon. Before we do that, we found outdoor workout zone. Do they need some cute one pieces now. Back in the day, not so much. <laughs> Ashley's getting situated. All right. Sun's out, buns out. Sun's out, buns out. I think I'm ready. Okay, let's go do a workout. I haven't really seen any outdoor equipment quite like this, so what better way to start the day than start with a workout? Trying to stay fit and healthy as we grow older. Yeah. And older <laughs> stay strong and enough to be pulling on the anchors and <laughs> the <it>. sheets. <laughs> We're getting excited to get back on the water, yeah. and it won't be long. Watch Ashley put in a nice little <laughs> morning workout at this outdoor gym. Yeah. So we're here at Fisherman's Village. Which is a neat place. They have all kinds of restaurants and shops and just all kinds of things going on here. We're gonna certainly highlight this area by boat. We're like in the back parking lot of Fisherman's Village. Give you a little better view of that from the sky. You'll have the land view, the sky view, the water view. Let's go work up a sweat. Come on. Appreciate you guys. We're gonna grab a couple other cameras. Okay. I'm just gonna go for a short little walk here. It's very peaceful and it's pretty. They keep it up very nice, it's clean. I like it here. Absolutely. Remember last night, tornado warnings, yeah. <laughs> high wind, high surf warnings. Oh my! Holy! Oh, oh, it's blowing in here bad. Yeah. Uh, small craft advisory. You know, we still have to put the mast up. And the sails. I really don't feel like tipping the boat over when it's on the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> the sun is out and the buns are out today. Look how pretty this is. This is a nice yeah. little Let's walkway. See three different workout zone in this area. And I believe they're all right on this strip. Lot of people that use this. Yeah. It's supposed to be a mile long little trail here just for, it's called Linear Park is what this is called. And it, it hosts all the fitness equipment and uh, it kind of wraps around. It does a loop, I do believe. And so people ride their bikes, they run, you know, do a nice little walk. I've seen people pushing their strollers and, you know, just getting out and about. A lot of people using the equipment also. Let's see what this is. Four person twisting station. Stretches waist and upper body. So these are more just body weight. I can feel that in my core though. Feel it in your core. You want to make sure you brace your core, keep it tight, and really focus on them muscles. Okay, keep it tight, keep it right. Nice. They have the stand-up version. Whee! <laughs> That's fun. This feels like a rod. <laughs> so that works the core. So that works the core. Oh, no, your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Uh... I'm not sure what the hell is this. <laughs> Looks like a yin yang. Whee! <laughs> Looks like a steering wheel with my feet. This is like a stair climber. Oh, yeah. Work stuff. It works. So just like body weight stuff. But you can actually feel it. <laughs> Marching in place. Row machine. Like it's a pull and then a push. I feel it more as a push than a pull though. Nice. Ah. So you got the butterflies and reverse flies. It's working. It's working. Oh, it is working. Look at there. Yeah. And this is a butterfly. Ah. Step ups or whatever you want to do here. Tell the folks, how, how much have you been working on your fitness in the last year? Oh, a lot. <laughs> the last two years? It's been several years now. I've been pretty steady. Uh, and I love it. Wouldn't change a thing. I mean, it makes me stronger. Be able to be on the boat and it's easier for me. And do like body weight push-ups that are inclined. And then, if you want to get more serious about it, <laughs> you can go down lower. Ta-da! Good job. <sighs> nice though. I'm actually very surprised at how much equipment they have. This is just one of three areas. One of three. Is that the next? Yeah. yeah, that's the next area right there. Let's let's walk down there. Oh, you want me to ride him? Woohoo! Ah. <laughs> Giddy up, cowboy! Oh yeah, I mean, I sweat just walking outside. It's a beautiful day. I don't know what the hell this is. Churning butter. You got the dip bars. <sighs> Typically it's like that. Oh, that hurts my back though. Cause there's no padding. Oh, these ones are padded here. This is like a little ab leg raises. Work your lower abs. Yeah, you can do pull-ups here. You can do pull-ups on that bar. Whatever ones you can reach. <laughs> Great job. Just take your time and, and go ahead and work out the way you normally would and I'll just try to film it. 
Okay. I always do walking lunges as a warm up. Always. This artificial turf is kind of neat. Get the shoulders mobile, calves, shoulder blades, scapula raises. Super strong. Super strong. Oops. You gotta go down. Oh, okay. High pull. High row down. Your rear delts. Whole thing moves ah. with you. This is like a hoist. Ah. <laughs> having fun over here. <laughs> Anytime you do lower body stuff, you're gonna make sure your feet are completely planted. Could do some like split squats off the thing. These are called Bulgarian split squats. Help with your balance also. This is like a playground for adults. I believe I'm gonna get a little stretching and workout in, so I'm gonna just pop this down. Typically, you add a little bit of weight to it in your hand. Right. No, you just wanna come straight up. Let's walk right down this way. Yep. Where the heck did that cloud come from? Got a little rain shower coming in gonna cool us off. I'm just trying not to get the mic and stuff wet. 30 knot winds right here. Yeah, it picked up really fast. That wind is just a whipping. It's cool though. I mean, they have a, a lot more equipment than I thought they would. It's the same thing when I go to a new gym. It's hard to get into a, whoo, that's cold. It's hard to get into a routine. Showers and the... Let's walk back to the land yacht. We're right here at Fisherman's Village. Fisherman's Village. Yeah. That is really sweet setup, honestly. I've just finished up with our workout. Yes. And now it's time to shower up. Take a shower before we cook some lunch. Yeah, I got goosebumps because the wind has been ripping so hard that it just blows right in here and it is cool. <laughs> nice and clean. Now I can get ready for lunch. Steak and shrimp and sides. I'm think... not ready to cook yet, so. Okay. Finish brushing my hair and getting, it, getting ready. Some days I just feel like shaving it all off. <laughs> Please don't. Lunch time! <laughs> able to crank up the generator? Absolutely, sure can. Good. Turn the microwave on. Heat up these apples. So nice to have a microwave. Steak, shrimp, and cinnamon sugar apples. <laughs> I don't think we can go wrong with that. You gotta get the pan nice and hot before you add the meat. It heats up very fast. Not faster than like an electric stove. Ooh, that wind is blowing out there. Good. You feel it rocking the camper. It's rocking the camper. Imagine what it'd be doing to our boat. You're hanging on. We're gonna wait until the wind calms down just slightly. We got to raise that mast and we gotta put the sails back up. Yeah, that wouldn't be good <laughs> on a day like today. Yeah. It might tip our boat over and the trailer. <laughs> That's right. Can you believe this camper fits in the back of a pickup truck? Right? It's hard to believe that something this size is in the back of a truck. Surf and turf. Turf and turf, coming up for lunch, not bad. What do y'all think, guys? Am I doing all right? <laughs> You're doing great. She's the best cook that I've ever met. Yeah, right. I'm serious. Sometimes leaving the tail on is good. You've got something to grab on yeah. to. Everybody likes a little tail. <laughs> Our surf and turf is done. Can't wait to dive in and eat it all. Eat it. Eat it like you mean it. <laughs> all right, it's eating time, folks. 